Hey everybody and welcome back to Big Boss Kitchen. Um, I want to make a strawberry pizza today. I'm going to have that for my dessert tomorrow, tomorrow Sunday. And so I'm going to make this strawberry pizza. There's only one problem. It calls for a 12-inch pizza pan. And my pizza pan is much larger than that. So I am going to compromise and I'm just going to use this pan. Um... I probably will just do the dough down part way instead of going all the way with it. But this is what I'm going to use until I can do better and get a 12 inch pizza pan. The first thing I'm going to do, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to take two cups of plain flour and I will post the recipe below in the description box. And I'd like to ask you to click on the subscription button and click on the bell and leave me a comment. Um, it would be so appreciated. All right, two cups of flour, and then I'm gonna take two sticks of butter that is softened to room temperature. And one cup of powdered sugar. And I'm gonna mix this all together. Okay, now we're going to take the dough and press it down into the baking sheet or pizza pan, if you have a pizza pan. And I'm just going to press this down into part of this baking sheet. This is not going to be... Um, a lot because it's only going to be my grandchildren here tomorrow. Matthew and Heather after church are going to a memorial service for a, a guy that he knew through his uh, YouTube channel that passed away very suddenly and was really a very sad situation. But anyway, they're going to that after church. So they will not be here. It will just be Gracie and her husband Garrett and his sister Ashley and Ruthie and Ellie <clears throat> and myself. Normally I would probably double this recipe but I'm not going to since it's just going to be us here eating. I'm going to pop this in my oven. I have preheated the oven to 350 degrees and I'm going to bake it for 15 minutes and then I'll take it out and I'll let it cool completely, and then I will top it with uh, Cool Whip and cream cheese, and then I'll put strawberries with the strawberry glaze on top of that. So Actually, I think before I put it in the oven, I'm going to sort of press this up on the sides, and I have made this so that it's 12 inches this way. It's only 11 inches across but I want to bring some up on the side, uh, make a lip so that, my, so that my glaze, my strawberries and my cream cheese and all that good stuff that goes in it won't run off of it. It doesn't say to do that, but I would think on a pizza pan, it probably would kind of have a lip a little bit. So whether it does or whether it doesn't, mine's going to have a little bit of a lip. Okay. That's padded out now to 12 inches this way and 11 inches across. So now I will put this in the oven and bake it for uh, 15 minutes and then I'm going to let it cool and then I will apply my topping to that and so I will be back with you at that point when I get ready to put the topping on. Okay, I am taking the crust out of the oven it has baked, I actually let it bake about three minutes longer than what it called for because it, it looked, this, this part, part here did not look like it was quite as done as it should be to me. I don't know. But anyway, I baked it for about 18 minutes at 350 degrees. So now I'm going to let this cool completely. But while this is cooling, I'm going to go ahead and prep my strawberries. I've already washed and drained 
my berries and I've cut the stems off of the top. And so now I'm going to go ahead and slice these and get them ready to go on the top whenever that gets cool and I can add my, my topping to it. So I'm just going to slice these. This calls for a pint of fresh strawberries. Okay, and now I'll put those in a bowl. And those will be ready to go on top. Okay, now I'm going to mix a block of cream cheese. I'm going to cream it. And of course, I have allowed this to come to room temperature so that it is softened. And I'm going to mix that until it's creamy. And now to that, I'm going to fold in an 8 ounce tub of Cool Whip. I have transferred my dough over to a platter so that it will be more attractive for my dessert. It cracked across the center, but it'll be okay because I'll put the filling on top. And now I'm going to just fold the cream cheese in with the Cool Whip. One of my customers uh, in my beauty shop that I did have done for years and years and years and years, she worked in a restaurant for a long time, and this was a recipe that they served in their restaurant. It was very, very popular, and so she shared the recipe with me, and I'm going to share it with you. I'm having to press the cream cheese so that it gets blended with the Cool Whip. You don't want to mix this with your mixer because when you do, it, it, it has a tendency to break down the Cool Whip and make it really uh, runny. I think I'm getting it pretty well combined. I think that's probably good enough because when you put your strawberry topping on that, it won't hurt if you bite into a little bit of cream cheese. Okay. So now my crust has totally cooled. And so I'm going to add this to the top of that. And we're going to spread that around on the crust. I have my pint of strawberries sliced and ready to go on top and so now I'm going to add a tub of strawberry glaze to my berries. I'm going to just pour that in on the berries and I'm going to mix this together real well and then I'll place this on top of the pizza crust. Okay, so now I'm going to spoon the berries up on top of this. Okay, that finishes the pizza, and it's really beautiful. It looks delicious. So I will chill this overnight, and then we will have this for our dessert tomorrow. And I guess I will do my taste test then. Because Thank you again for watching my video. And like I said in the beginning, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. 
leave me a comment, click the bell, give me a thumbs up. And until the next time, this is Bebop saying may the Lord bless and keep you and your family safe. And until I do another video, well, actually, no, you know what? I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to do a taste test for you. So have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye. Do you know what they just asked me? If they're supposed to have some of this dessert. Yes, you are. So, pass your, pass your plates. This is the strawberry pizza. And we are about to do a taste test. She did that with a carrot. Yeah, I did it. Really big. And Garrett. Oh, okay. <laughs> we have little Ivy just ready to get get some of it. Oops. Wait a minute, because this one's broken. Just a minute, let me get the rest of it. Okay. Mm, lick my fingers. Okay, and so now we're gonna do a taste test on the strawberry pizza. Mm. Let's see what everybody thinks about it. It's good. Good. Yeah, yeah. Mmm. Mm. What you think, Ellie? Good. Very good. I hear you. I said it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Ellie is a little camera shy. Mmm, it is good. Okay, well, again, <laughs> this is my second sign off at this dinner table. <laughs> so, if you um, have not subscribed, Please subscribe, leave a comment, click the bell, give me a thumbs up. And until the next time, may the Lord bless and keep you and your family safe. And this is B-Boss saying have a great day because we're going to finish up with a really great day. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>